Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to go over implementing dynamic network address translation on a Cisco firewall using the ASDM GUI and in the video before we went over implementing um, static NAT on a Cisco firewall or ASA and the way we did it is we implemented it via the ASDM which is a GUI of the firewall and we also did it on the command line interface. If you haven't seen those videos, you can go ahead to my YouTube channel. And here are the two videos that I did on static NAT. One was using the ASDM and the other one was using, <coughs> I'm sorry, the, C, the CLI or the command line interface. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and do that. But we are going to move on to section 5.3. Uh, which is dynamic implementing dynamic NAT implementing the dynamic NAT on a Cisco ASA. So let's go ahead and start that right now. And we are going to configure the ASA first. So what I want to do first, I want to give it a host name of ASA interface gigabit zero one, which is the outside network. It's going to have an IP address of 200.1.1.1 now shut down and then we're going to have a name if internet that's what we're going to call it and as you can see the security level for internet by default is at to zero so that's great um then let's go to go to interface gigabit zero zero ip address of 192.168.1.1 which is the inside network we can do a name name if inside and the security level for the inside is set to 100 by default so this is the inside network right here we can go ahead and do a no shutdown that is great so then after that we need to go ahead and configure the http server and we are going to enable that and we are doing this because i want this asdm because the asdm is going to be launched from the http server so that wa that's why I'm enabling this. And we also need to enable the IP address of the device that is going to be connecting to this ASDM. Um, so I only want this device to connect to the ASDM or to the HTTP server via the inside network. There it is. <coughs> so now after that, um, what we can do, we can just go ahead and end it. And we can save it. So for now, we are done with the command line of the ASA. And also, config T, let's configure that ASA hostname. There we go. That looks better. We can save it. So now we have configured the, out, the outside internet on Trusted Network. And the inside, we're not going to touch the DMZ um, because that's not how, that's not where you would um, implement a dynamic network address translation. Um, if you guys don't know what a network address translation, you can go ahead and go to my YouTube channel and I have a video on what a dynamic and a static and a pet network translation is. Um, but to make this short, a dynamic network translation is when you have a pool of IP addresses over here, a pool being a, a bunch of private IP addresses being translated into another pool of public IP addresses. To the outside network so that's what we're going to do um, but before before we can do that let's go ahead and configure the ASDM we need to configure a IP address and if you need um, help setting up the ASDM you can always leave a comment on the video below and I can make a video on how to implement the ASDM so you can launch it with the firewall okay it's going to have an IP address one two one six that one one actually that one that two net mask is a slash 24 now let's add the route add you want to add the default gateway this one's going to be the default gateway is going to be the ASA there we go so now we should be able to bring the default gateway there we go so we have connection which is good that we have connection so we are able to ping from the ASDM to the ASA so now we should be able to launch the ASDM. Um, 
ahead and do that. And we are going to launch it 192.168.101. That's the IP address of the ASCM right? We can go ahead and trust this content. Since we, don't, we, we did not create a username and password, you can leave that blank and just click OK. And there we go. We are now into the ASDM. As you can see, we're going to put this down for now. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and configure these other computers with their IP addresses. Um, so if you do an IP, 192.168.1.3 and then 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is that for this one it's going to be that four slash 24 default gateway one that one now we should be able to pin the default gateway we're going to make sure that we have connectivity we do Let's go ahead over here and ping the default gateway. So these two computers have connectivity with the firewall, so that's great. So when that is done, um, we can just go ahead and go to the ASDM. And from the ASDM, you want to go to the configuration tab over here. Then you want to go to firewall. Then we are going to go to objects, network objects. And we are going to edit this one right here. And when you edit it, it doesn't really edit it. It just creates a new one. Um, so let's just say network over here. And then after that, you need to um, click on the NAT button. And we're going to select this. And we're going to say that we're going to use dynamic network address translation. And we're not going to use PAT. That's for another video tutorial. And then we need to do the translate, translator addresses. And this is going to be translated. It's going to be translated into a public IP addresses, right? The private IP addresses are going to be translated into a public IP addresses. So we need to set up an another network object, and this is going to call translated pool, and the type is going to be a range, right? So it's going to be two hundred that one that that one that one that five other way to two hundred that one that one that's fifteen uh, this is going to be translating translating private IP to public IP click OK select that um, the translated addresses it's going to be the translated pool that we're going to select right so then after that, um, from over here, you need to go into advanced and we are going to select the source, which is the inside and the destination, which is the internet. Press OK. OK. Let's go ahead and apply this. There we go. So then after that, we can. Let's try to ping the router from here and I also want to bring the router up. And from the router. And let's have the ASCM next to it. So from the router, I want to do an IP debug or debug IP. And it's going to have a ICMP packet. We're going to debug that. So let's go ahead and ping 200.1.1.2, which is the IP address of the, of the router right here. And as you can see, the router it's able to it's able to get the packets and it's replying to it. So as you can see it's able to it's got in the packets and it's replying to the two hundred that one that one the nine which is the translated IP addresses that is picking up from the translator pool that we set up. So it is replying to this um, Public IP addresses, public IP address, um, but the ASDM is not getting it right now. So what we need to do is that we need to set up an AS, a ACL or an access list. 
and when we set up the access list it's going to allow that traffic from the router into the ASDN so let's go ahead and set up that um, ACL so let's go ahead to the configuration access rules to the internet and we're going to allow any and any that's fine click OK apply and save it and now if we go ahead over here and we'll ping it we should be able to get replies as you can see right here and it is replying to the 200 the 1 the 1 the 9 which is being translated this private um, IP address from the ASDN into this public IP address and if you go into the tools command we can see that from here show x late you can see that 192.168.1.2 which is the ASDM IP address is being translated into the 200.1.1.9 which is the one that the router is getting and if we go into PC1 and we try to ping 200.1.1.2 The router is also getting that at the 200.1.1.10 IP address right here. As you can see, it is being translated. And if you also do a show X late again, you can see now that we have two IP addresses being translated, which is the 1.3 being translated into the 200.1.1.10. Um, and also, if we ping from PC2, we're going to get another um, IP address being translated. If we go to send, you can see now that we have three IP addresses being translated, one into that five, one into that nine, and one into that 10. So that is set for this video, guys. And if you guys enjoy this video on the dynamic um, translation, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have plenty of videos on the CCNA security, CCNA, and also CCMP. And if you wanna go ahead, if you have a Twitter account, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. Um, and if you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and create a Twitter account, guys, and then follow me on Twitter. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.